Let's take a look on how to use the Collab version to get the for the humans result. After connecting, you need to use um, the GPU version. I'm using the T4 GPU and let it connect. Okay, it's connected. Then we can go to this part and keep pressing the play button. It's saying that's not from Google, you can execute anyway. And after each one finishes, you click on the next one. Some of them takes a while, this one takes a while. Let's wait and we'll continue. Oh, something I like to do is to press on the graph here so it can show how it's working and to change here to the folder so we can see how it's creating the files and the folders. Let's wait for it to, to finish. After the installation of this part, let's go to the next one. You can run the demo. This will run on an image, which usually is not what we want to use. Usually we want to use with a video, but we can run it just for test. I think you don't need to run it, but I'm gonna, just for example, purpose. Oh yeah, it will take a while when you run this first part because it's downloading and installing other files. You can know that because it's not even using the GPU yet. It's just setting up everything. It will take a while too. You see the, the execution was done. It, it had a, a peak of the run GPU usage, but let's continue. It did, here is just to, to view the result. It's the image, we don't want that. Now let's install the, I can't say that. Let's install this. This is needed to use the video. It, it usually, this part is fast. I think. And it's done. Let's go to this part. This part is where you tell it to execute the process on the video. Um, this example, this Google Collab, it has already a video calling gymnasts. It's in the example data folder, videos. Here it is. We just have to press the play button and let it process. I run this just to show you can use it doing almost nothing. And after this process, I'm going to show how to use your own video to get the animation data to load inside the add-on. This part can take a while, I think more than five minutes. I'll pause it. You can see here, I think after almost 12 minutes, 20 minutes, it finished. You can see the result on the output folder, just going from the beginning for the humans output results and you have this demo gymnastics let's download this to see how it how it works you see it's processing before the download I don't know it exactly why is that, but you must wait for it to, to finish to download the file. And let's choose a place. Uh, now let me put it here. So I have it done. Let me load 
on the add-on, we can load this file using the import pkl google collab option. And here it is. It's the most recent one. It just import that. Probably you see here on the console it loading. It's done and now we can let me erase this. We can import all five characters here. Oh yeah. Let me get the SMPL FBX file. Uh, okay, now uh, I had that error because I, I have to remove to pack the add on. Let's import it. And now it it works. And you can see the animation. And you can smooth also. But let's go to the custom file. Let's say that you want to create an animation use on using this video. Drag Sugiguchi. It's this video. So to do that in Google Collab you can drag. You must have the example data folder open videos. And you get the video file and drag it to the videos folder. It's a warning, okay. It's saying that, that it's going to erase the file. You see here it's uploading and now you can see the file over here. To be easier, I suggest you to rename the file in case it has a complicated name. Let me call it drag. So here I have on the videos folder drag file. I can go here and change the gymnast to drag and oh sorry uh, let me collapse it I don't know how to do that <laughs> sorry so we change the name we can press the play button and wait for it to process while it's processing here let's take a look on the video on the imported character we did on the default video we can see the, the animation and we also can smooth it we can use the both to smooth both the pose and the translation sometimes the translation gets a little bit messy so you just use the pose let's use it on both and and the all the characters will be smoothed let's wait a bit yeah, we can also follow the process on the console panel, on the console window, not panel. And it's done, and we can import this move character. And let me move it a little bit aside, and you can see the difference. This one is this move one. You can see the difference between them. And let's go back to wait for the other process to run on Google Collab. I'll pause it, waiting for it to finish. You can see here, the one we've, we've done took seven minutes to process. And we'll have the PKL file here available. So we'll do the same thing, download, wait for it to fulfill. And then we download the file. And now let me get, let me clear the scene. And erase the cube. Open the add on again. Import PKL Google Collab. It's here, the drag one. Import and you have two characters, we can import the first one and the second one. And that's it. Here you have the animation, you can work with Google Collab if you don't have powerful enough PC to create the animations. 
export the PKL file, load it on the add-on, and you can do this move and import the animation on Blender. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.